On International Working Women's Day, thousands gathered in a peaceful demonstration in Brooklyn, New York to mark this working class holiday and honor the struggle of the women of Palestine. Today is International Working Women's Day. A revolutionary call to action and celebration that's been honored since 1917. And what better way to honor our Palestinian sisters fighting for liberation than to be in the streets fighting alongside them. Because true sisterhood is rooted in international solidarity and anti-imperialism. Today also marks the fifth month of Israel's genocide in Gaza. In that time, Israel has murdered more than 35,000 Palestinians, more than half of them women and children. They have destroyed most of the critical infrastructure in Gaza, and they have committed sexual violence against Palestinians. Shame. Israel, backed by the United States, is waging a war on Palestinian women, children, and families. On March 8, we salute the revolutionary women of Venezuela who have borne the burden of sanctions for so long, yet continue to be the leaders of a socialist process and a socialist revolution. We salute the revolutionary women of Cuba who have not only sustained and built their sovereignty for over 60 years in the face of the U.S. blockade, but have also been at the forefront and have enshrined into the first law in the world a full family code that ensures women's reproductive freedom in all of its forms. The women in every corner of the world who have made sure that the fight against imperialism only gets stronger and never takes a step back. And we salute the women of Palestine, of Gaza, who have not only endured the majority of the injuries and the casualties that this genocide has unleashed in incomprehensible brutality and numbers. They have also been the rock that has made sure that the Palestinian struggle and the Palestinian resistance will never be broken. We remember the women of Palestine who are struggling right now. Over 25,000 25, of the people that were killed were women and girls in this genocide that has now spanned five months. And we will never stop to fight for them. We will always honor them. We will always remember that they died for a just cause. But we will continue to make sure that everybody in New York City to the entire world hears our call for liberation until all of Palestine is free, until all of us are free. Since the war began, Miscarriages in Palestine have increased by 300%. The direct targeting of health infrastructure by Israeli forces has severely impacted Palestinian women's access to care, which is especially important for pregnant women. New York City was one of the dozens of cities across the world that declared the need to center the struggle of Palestinian women on International Working Women's Day. In New York City, organizers have also been fighting to assert their constitutional right to protest. However, as the Palestine Solidarity Movement continues to take to the streets, police have been barricading the streets, restricting the use of amplified sound, and violently arresting peaceful protesters. On March 8th, dozens of protesters were arrested at multiple actions that took place across the city. Demonstrators in Brooklyn faced police barricades soon after taking the streets, but fearlessly reclaimed their right to protest by abating police repression and marching for several more streets before being attacked by hordes of NYPD cops. In response, hundreds of protesters took to the train en masse to the police headquarters where dozens of demonstrators were being held for processing. 
Into the early hours of the next morning, hundreds stayed outside of the police headquarters at one police plaza, leading chants, breaking bread, staying outside until almost every single RSD was released.